that was a big one. If anyone gives $20, apparently it makes the egg in my bottom vibrate. Oh, yep, there we go. There you go. I'm not sure how I feel about that, actually. Oh, my God. Ah, Alexa. I was wondering if you could search the web on how you're supposed to get one of those vibrating eggs out of a man's anus. Cannot get a grip on it for love nor money. Do you think you just kind of poop it out? What is going on here? Oh, this. Well, I had heard this site called OnlyFans, where fans of your work can pay you to support it. I had forgotten the password to my Patreon, and this site offered basically the same service. Well, one thing led to another, and no one was actually asking for any history lessons on the site. So I mostly just send texts saying I love you, or photos of my butthole stretch out really wide. Why are you wearing that? Oh, I'm Ariana Mucho Grande. So you're a prostitute. Entrepreneur. You need Jesus. Stop slut-shaming me! Welcome to Historical. I'm your host, Bradbury Strumworth. For millennia, people have looked to this book, the Gospel, the Word, the Good Book, the Holy Bible, for guidance. Whatever they call it, it is undoubtedly the source of undeniable wholesomeness that guide all of God's children to a life of piety and virtue. Or so it would seem! We start with Exodus. There was Moses on a mountain, and there was lightning, and it was all windy and pa. Show me your face! No, Moses. I cannot, my child. Oh, come on! You cannot see my face, for man shall not see me and live. I bet it's sexy! Mmm, okay, tell you what. That is not what I meant. All right, all right. Our next story of Christian purity and glory comes from Deuteronomy 23.9. God was walking through the camp, making sure all the Israelites were safe. All right, you all good here? Yeah? Okay, good night. Night, night God. God. Yeah. Good night. And you, Matthew, Levi. Hey, stop that. We've been over this. Night, boys. Good night, you princes of Galilee. You kings of Judea. You... Oh, gross! Oh, it's all pooey! And yea, God said, when you relieve yourself, dig a hole and cover up your excrement, for the Lord your God moves in your camp to protect you. Well, that's just good practice. Hmm. Let's see here. Um, ah! Genesis 19. In the twin cities of Sodom and Gomorrah, nestled in amongst the wicked sinners, was a righteous man called Lot, that God liked a bunch. He liked him so much that he sent him two angels to hang out or whatever. When two rapists saw them through the window, hand over those fine-ass cherubim. We gon' get the fuck on. No, wait. Here. Take my daughters instead. <laughs> you drive a hard bargain. All right, let's go. And God was all like, Good distraction, Lot. Distraction? Call it Ezekiel. Here's strike standing by. And so, God rained down hellfire on the city as Lot escaped with his wife. And God said to himself, Hmm, how do I make this needlessly complicated? Ah, Lot, if you look back at the destruction, you'll be turned to a pillar of salt. You hear that, honey? If you look back, you'll be turned into a pillar of Sorry, salt. Sorry, did you say something? Are you starting to get my point, Alexa? You sound like a Reddit atheist right up in here. Allow me to read on. Samuel, 18. Meet Saul, king of Israel. Meet David, his most popular general. Saul, your majesty, can I marry your daughter? Bring me 104 skins. Yeah, I heard that was your thing. Speaking of kings, Alexa, Kings 316, the judgment of King Solomon. Uh, I, I live with this lady and we both have babies and last night she slept on her baby and killed it. And that sneaky bitch takes my baby, puts it on her titty, and this and this is fucked up. She takes her dead baby and puts it on my titty. And like, I wake up and look, this baby's dead. I, I can see it's not my baby. And I can see that that's my baby. Look, like, it's waving at me. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Um, 
What do you say in your defense? This is my baby. Oh, uh, fuck. Oh, God. Uh, okay, uh, give it to me. I can see no other way around this. I'm going to cut the baby in half. My baby! Lengthways or crossways? Aha! That proves that... That you... Hmm. What does that prove? Hang on, hang on. I'm going to put this baby in this blender. What the, what the fuck? And you each get a glass. <sighs> Dead babies, Lexa. Your Bible is full with as much smut and degradation as the random forum on 4chan. I just don't think you should have an OnlyFans. My daddy didn't love me, Alexa. Besides, nobody cared who I was before I put on the mask. Comes the airplane. Yes, definitely. Yes, Daddy.